we purchase all kinds of recyclable material from everybody from all walks of life and uh, process it and send it to the home in which it belongs. I guess it started when they uh, sent somebody over here with a shopping cart with around $2.50 uh, worth of material and apparently we bought it from the man. Uh, they came back a few days later and laid a ticket for uh, buying material f uh, without verifying somebody's identity. We record the name and address of every person that attends here to sell us material. Notwithstanding the fact we asked the guy's name and he lied about it, somebody with $2.50 worth of material <laughs> verbally identifying them shouldn't be a problem. I mean, you can vote in a federal election the last time I checked without ID. It's reasonable to expect a city employee to conduct themselves with honesty. But for the misrepresentation of the bylaw officer, there is no offense. They entirely manufactured it. I, I can't imagine what the motivation is. I look forward to contesting it. It isn't the money. If the ticket was for 43 cents, I would still be contesting it because it's wrong. It's wrong for the city to treat the businesses in this community in, this community in such a fashion. I, I believe it speaks to the, uh, I, I don't even wanna go there. It's just, you look at the resource prioritization, you look around this neighborhood and you look at the housing problem we have, the homeless problem we have, and the addiction problem we have, and this is how they're spending their money. Give me a break. I mean, in any private sector business, I think there would be repercussions for the management and engaging in such an endeavor.